you in the White House. Uh, how do you intend to counteract the bias of the media and the dirty remarks we're getting? I've noticed that every time a Republican runs, they get slammed in the press and they always take the high road. They never, never knock back and say, well, hey, it's okay for Michelle Obama to spend $10 million of the taxpayers' money on vacations. And if you were to make any type of a remark like that against a Democratic candidate, it would be racism, it would be bias. So how are you going to fight the press? Because they are everywhere. And the, set, the other question is, what are you going to do about it? What can you do or plan to do about anchor babies? And more importantly, <laughs> when are we going to get our children home? the Middle East and stop wasting them on other people's countries. <laughs> well, I think, I think you went for three. She did. I, well, uh, well, <laughs> I don't think that was right. <laughs> but, well, let me, let me just say, I believe we have to re rethink our entire strategy in the Middle East because I think that it is a much harder, much longer-term problem, and I think tragically uh, that we have been engaged in campaigns where our military has been tactically brilliant, incredibly heroic, but the strategies, frankly, are not going to lead to the kind of victory we want. And so I think we need to rethink all of that as rapidly and decisively as possible. Uh, let me say second, on anchor babies, if we get total control of the border, it ceases to be a problem. Because the fact is they don't get here, and therefore they're not going to be a problem in the long run. Uh, the, uh, on the news media, uh, first of all, I, I, this may surprise some of you. I, you know, I was dead in June and July. Uh, as, as a candidate, not as a person, but as a candidate. Uh, and and uh, now I'm apparently not dead. Um, and the, the according to Fox last night, I'm in first place, but I think realistically I'm basically tied with Romney. Uh, we're both somewhere in about the same. But, 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 here's, but here's, the, here's the key thing to remember. We all complained correctly when the news media failed to investigate Barack Obama. We complained when they refused to look at William Ayers. We complained when they didn't actually explain what Saul Alinsky was all about and what, what community organizer meant, okay? We were right to complain that. So now they're actually doing for us what they wouldn't do for Obama, okay? Now they're doing it partly out of bias, and I understand that, and I understand that there are places like MSNBC that are essentially the Obama re-election team. But, you know, but that's fine. This is a free society. You can also say, frankly, that Fox tends to be nicer to than, than it is to Obama. In the next three weeks, I predict to you, we'll have all sorts of questions about me. And it's fine. You, you cannot ask the people of the United States to loan you the most powerful governmental job in the world, particularly on a campaign that is promising very dramatic change, and not have them vet you carefully and thoroughly. And what you're going to discover is that in the 12 years that I stepped down and was in private life, that in fact, I, I, worked, I worked extraordinarily hard and that we were deeply committed to being citizens. We made seven documentary films that helped explain America, six of them. One of them explains Pope John Paul II going back to Poland in 1979 to defeat the Soviet Empire. I wrote a series of books. We worked with a wide range of companies. I helped found four small businesses. And that's fine. And I will cheerfully answer every single question they ask. And at the end of it, you will be relatively convinced, I believe, that I did no lobbying of any kind. I did no influence peddling of every kind. But the truth is, if you have the reputation, and I'm not going to use the words because then they'll distort them and take them, they'll say what the game says. If you, if you just take what people say about me in the debates and say to yourself, gee, is that a person somebody might have hired for advice? You know, I think it's hard to argue that they should have hired somebody who was truly dumb. <laughs> and so I'm happy to tell you I have been a very successful business. I'm not as successful as Mitt. But that's not a comment about Mitt. I would like to have been as successful as Mitt. But I've been a very hard-working business person. I think I represent the wing of America that believes that hard work and success is good.